Okay guys, welcome back and we are now going to go through this little help menu. So let's see what the Moogster has to say. When you see the finger in the menu, press the select button and I'll come help you anytime. After you're done with my help, press the select button again so I can leave. I'm usually pretty busy so try not to keep me too long. Fair enough. First I'll go over the battle controls. Confirm, cancel, cycle to the next ready character. When the ATB gauge is full, hold down to clear menu. We already know those. Uh, select single multiple targets. Um, pause and turn off. Next I'll talk about the ATB. ATB stands for Active Time Battle. Time during battles is managed by the ATB system. There are two ATB modes, Active and Wait. You can select them in the config menu. Active. Uh, always real time. Time never stops during a battle. Wait. Time stops while you are selecting magic and items. I prefer the wait. If you're a beginner, I think you should choose wait. Active is more for advanced players. Oh well, consider me a beginner then, because I prefer the the whole taking my time. Now let's go over damage points. Numbers and details pop up during battle whenever your HP and MP change. Numbers appear in two different colours. HP change. White numbers indicate damage, green numbers indicate HP recovery. Uh, same with the MP. When your attack misses, you'll get a miss, critical when you deal greater damage than usual, death when you get KO'd, and guard when your status attacks and elemental attacks have no effect. Finally, I'll give you some more tips regarding order. The order option involves not only the lineup but also the battle position. There are two battle positions, front row and back row. Front row, you can deal big damage with attack, but you can also receive big damage. Back row, you can only deal small damage with attack, but you receive less damage from attacks. You can change this order in the order option. You can also switch between the front and back row during battle by selecting change. If you use your magic or long range weapons, you can deal just as much damage from the back row as you can from the front. In tough battles, adjusting battle positions appropriately might save your life. Okay, I think I've covered enough on battle stuff. Yeah, so basically we're going to move VV to the back, so to keep him out of harm's way, and he can still use his magic. Abilities are special powers that characters possess. Using them wisely is the key to victory. There are a ton of different abilities, but generally they fall into two categories. Action abilities, magic and special moves you can use in battle consumes MP. And support abilities that support you in battle must equip magic stones to use them. Alright, we'll have to figure out how to do that at some point. You need MP to use magic and special moves. Maximum MP increases as you level up. Support abilities must be equipped with magic stones to be functional. Like MP, the maximum number of these stones increase as you level up. Ah, right, yes, yeah, so we've already done that. I know what we're just talking about now. The main menu shows two numbers for magic stones, the remaining number and the maximum number. Uh, remaining number decreases as you equip, maximum number increases as you level up. Set the magic stones on support abilities, select ability in the main menu and select equip. There are round slots next to each support ability, the ability is equipped if a magic stone appears inside the slot. The menu shows which support abilities have been equipped. Uh, abilities name not equipped and equipped if it's lit up. So it's all pretty much uh, simple stuff which is self-explanatory and you know anybody with half an idea should know what's going on really. Now I'll tell you how to learn abilities. In general you have to equip items to learn abilities. Most items hold special powers that help draw out your inborn abilities. You could say the items work to free your latent abilities. Select equip in the main menu to check which abilities you can learn from items. The abilities you cannot learn are greyed out. Uh, yes, so we've already uh, slightly seen this so far earlier on when I uh, equip different items. Uh, so ability in red is that can be learned. Ability in green is an ability that can be learned. And obviously the greyed out ones are abilities that can't be. Abilities can be used as soon as you equip that item, however they cannot be used once you remove the item. To use abilities without equipping the items you must learn them by gaining enough AP for each ability. You can gain AP through battles. Okay, ability name. 
Uh, the character has gained enough AP to use the ability without equipping an item. Yep, if it's gone off sleeve red with stars, ability near blah blah, the character must equip the item to use the ability. Yeah, easy enough. Press B in the status menu to show the learned abilities. Final note, each ability requires different amounts of AP to learn. Yep, that's easy enough. So, trance. When trance occurs, the character transforms. Your powers increase while you're under trance. In addition to greater attack power, you can receive new battle commands. It's really amazing how much you can change. Here are some facts about trance. The trance gauge increases as you take hits from the enemies. The trance gauge does not increase if you get hit by other party members. If you get affected by a zombie, the trance gauge goes down completely. When the trance gauge fills up completely, it's party time. Uh, end of a battle, trance gauge goes back down to zero. During battle, trance gauge decreases to zero as you take actions during battle. You could say that the origin of trance comes from hostility. The hostile energy of the enemy's attacks induces trance. That's why being attacked by your allies causes a trance. Also, I've heard that there's an ability that helps you achieve trance faster. Right, by the way, the trance gauge appears both in battle and the status menu, which is under the main menu. Unfortunately, not everyone can achieve trance. I guess it's only for the chosen ones. Or maybe just a myth. I've never any seen anyone achieve it. Well, I have. Icons that appear over the head. During your adventure, you will run into a lot of suspicious looking things. That's when a field icon might pop over your head. Well, just like them ones. Press B while using the icon and something will happen. Field icons pop up a lot to say, so stay alert. Also, there are some areas where you might not be able to see where you are. Whenever that he uh, happens, pop out the here icon. Press select to call the here icon. You can pop out the here icon anytime by pressing select. Also, you can turn on off the icon in the config menu. And lastly, save Moogles. You can find our buddies everywhere in the world. Talk to them whenever you have any problems. Here are some things they can handle. Save your game. Use a tent to restore everyone's HP and MP. Also remove some status effects. And Mugnet exchange letters with other people. And that's about it. Unfortunately, you won't be able to save or use a tent in some places. If you press the X button in the world map, Mungo will come and help you. Try not to overdo it, he might get mad if you call him too many times. Gosh bro, you sure know a lot. Yeah, I know. I have a gift for you, Koopo. Take this. Received Moogle's Flute. With this flute, you can call us anywhere in the world, Koopo. Press X to play it. Happy trails! Thank you. Bye. Koopo. What the? Who goes there? Your friend's already left, Koopo. Princess! Normal navigation. Enter buildings, ride a vehicle, call a Moogle, uh, navigation map, camera control, lock and unlock camera, and switch perspective. Uh, okay, dokie, we'll figure it out as we go. So let's just have a quick look. So that sort of pans slightly. That's left and right. And so square is the X button. Ah, PC Moogle. Uh, right. Ice cavern. looks cold. This must be the cabin. Really? What makes you think that? Uh oh. What's up, Vivi? Have you ever heard of the ice cabin? Sure. It's this place. I think so. It's supposed to be near the evil forest. I've heard of it. It's supposed to be a beautiful place covered in ice. 
My grandpa told me about this place. He said the cabin takes travellers to the top of the mist. Bravo, Master Vivi's grandfather. Must be quite a scholar. We must thank him upon escaping the mist. My grandpa used to teach me lots of things, but he passed away. Oh, forgive me for my indiscretion. Don't worry about it. Well, why don't we go inside? Right, let's see if we can level up a bit and hopefully not die because uh, I haven't got any potions or anything. Oh look, a chest. Oh, what a beautiful place. Seeing the actual cavern is much better than reading about it. Oh, how pretty. I wonder what kind of flower this is. Princess, please don't touch anything. Can we get moving? I'm freezing in here. Uh, right, let's go and get that chest. Tent. Portion would be nice, but um, that'll do. Oh, at least we're all alive, so that's a start. Down there. Can't jump across. Yeah. Right, let's see what we're up against here. Some weird horn things. Uh, right, Steiner, attack. Steel. That thing. Uh, white magic is going to be handy. Um, summon. Oh, there's loads of summons there already. Um, you attack, which won't be very powerful, but never mind. Um, fire on that one. Oh, sh shit already. Sword magic fire. I hope I've got another Phoenix down. I know you're probably not going to believe me, but I'm not actually usually this bad. <laughs> um, uh, Phoenix pinion. I think I've got to use that one in battle. Um, got air portion. Uh, right. Um, let's have a look. Equip. Um, see if we've got anything for Garnet. Give her a leather hat. Give her a wrist. I'll give her a little bit more, but nothing she can learn. But. Um, Cure Panacea. Panacea? Don't know what that is. And um, protect. Alright, um, I'm gonna have to do it with her dead. What is this? What a strange wall. There's gotta be something behind it. Hey, Vivi. Yes? Can you break this wall down with your magic? I'm a coming. Well, oh. I knew it, see? There might be other walls like this. I'm counting on you, Vivi. Phoenix down. Come on. Yeah, there. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not doing so good at the moment. I think I'm going to have to go outside and use a tent to see if I can uh, bring Garnet back to life. Black matter item portion. Oh shit, I'm asleep now. Um, I'm not doing very good on here at all. Um, uh, how do I wake him up? 
Phoenix Queen. Damn it. Um, that was a work. So, attack the flan. Head attack. Stay alive long enough for me to cure him. Shut! Right magic, cure yourself. Sword magic, fire, flat. Fire, do the flan. Alright, that's them. Da -da -da. Good. Leveling up like say, I've got a flan card. Um Right, let's run back outside, use a tent. I know it's way too early to be doing this, I, I'm really doing bad. But if you can get him back to life and I watch what I'm doing, I think I'll get back on track. Right, we do black magic. Fire! Dino Sword Magic Fire. And if it doesn't kill them, you can cure this Dino. Good portion, that's handy. With the right mage, hopefully I shouldn't need to use them. Do -do 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 -do. Right. To use a tent. Hopefully that will bring him back to life. Which will save it while we're here. Right, let's try again. Hopefully this time we'll have a bit more success. Alright, how do I get across there? Surely there's bound to be a way. Maybe further down in the cave? Maybe jump back? Da, da, da. Ah. Potion! No, no, there's another one down there. Mm, 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 mm. Damn it, he's still. Well, that was a waste of a tent. Right. Black magic. Fire. Uh, don't need you to do anything yet, just defend. Uh, sword, magic, fire. Maybe. I don't need to do anything. Right, I don't know how I'm going to drop down there. Um, 
open that. Huh, what's this? Well, thanks, Vivi. I've got an elixir. Alright, I'm not sure how to get down there. I can't jump over there. Hmm. Ah, that was handy. Thanks, Vivi. Mage Smasher. That sounds interesting. What's that? Uh, uh, do? Weapon used for combating mages. Add silence. Interesting, so I take it I can equip VV with it. Um, but probably don't want to just yet. Oh no, I can't. Who's is it then? So we keep pressing the wrong button. Ah, there we go, Mage Smasher. So. I haven't learned flee yet, but that's got flee and detect on it, and so we should let equip him with that, even though it's no good. Seeing as he's dead, which is annoying. Um, so I'm kind of guessing now that I've managed to get that one, there will be a way to get that other chest from the other room. Um, we'll have a quick scoot back and uh, ah, back attack. Um, just. See if we can grab it. Right, so light magic you can cure VV. You can use sword magic fire on the flan. You can use fire on the other flan. You can cure, we need to cure it. Let's cure yourself. So, fire. Well, that's Steiner out of MP, so I won't be doing any more of them attacks. in the flan card. Right, I'll quickly run back to the other room. See if I can figure out how to jump down there. Surely there must be... Ah, I think I figured it out. I'll run around the back. There we go. I knew there must have been a way to get it. Potion. Go on, I'm wanting some phoenix down. Fire, you white magic cure Steiner, you attack. Don't be wasting all your MP. Magic. Did that not work before? I'm sure. I tried to cure him before. There we go. Um, 
attack. Baby, save some MP. This would have been so much easier if I had Zidane, Zidane, whatever you want to call him. Come on, die! Come on! Surely this thing's got to be nearly dead. I think we're gonna have to do some curing. Right. Um. There we go. It would have been so much easier if I hadn't lost it in. He's now learnt fire. It's handy. Alright, let's see if I can. Ability. Use cure. Alright, good enough. Alright, MP is pretty low there, so let's um, use some ether on Gannet. See if we can get through this cave now and find some phoenix. Um, right, time's getting on. What I'll do is we shall uh, leave this episode here. And uh, please don't forget to like, subscribe and all the usual jazz. And we'll catch you again. Thanks for watching.